Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So for today's video, I decided to um, turn myself into a levitating seedler, you know, just to, just to match the theme of today's video. So what actually happened was I, I wore a green shirt. <laughs> um, I normally don't wear a green shirt. I only have like one green shirt. And I, for some weird reason, I it, it doesn't even look that green. It looks almost yellowish. But I decided to, to kind of wear it and it, it looks super funny. Man, my, my green screen's falling apart. Just pretend. Pretend you didn't see anything. Man, this looks this looks so absolutely weird. <laughs> but yeah, I I thought it looked really funny, so I decided to kind of just roll with it um, and be a be a levitating head just for today. Man, it looks it looks so spooky. Um, but yeah, what I'm gonna do is I wanted to spotlight my own. Um, seedler that I raised for t today's video. Now I said I wasn't gonna raise it till probably at the end of the month, but I kind of got a little bit impatient because I was really, really hyped up about, about this monster. Um, a dark attacker with elemental edge and like skill books and like shit that scales with crit. So like you just get him 100% crit and then he has like 100% skills. So it's gonna be amazing. Um, unfortunately, I didn't catch any variant seedlers, so I basically just um, made him a non-variant. But then again, um, for dark attackers, the the resist lead is not that useful it's still useful but it's not um as useful as using like a attack lead or a hp lead um so we're gonna do some we're gonna do some damage testing as well as some pvp um i might as well just go and go straight in and just uh just wreck some shit in pvp i'm gonna be using him with like a mostly dark team um and then we're gonna fight some uh some level 60 guys so i guess yeah we'll, we'll start from the top we'll just uh like this is like from last what is this? What does this mean? Oh wait, Astromon of the month gets some sort of bonus, right? All right, that's just that's just pure hacks. Man, the sirens too. Holy crap! Made my light siren even stronger. Um, and the dark mihos, like they're they're gonna be insane. But we're not gonna be using the dark mihos right now. We're gonna be using um, a dark attacker team. So what I actually wanted to do is like, I want to create like a really, really strong offensive team that's able to just, uh, just do a shit ton of damage, um, especially like on even non-light units. So I'm going to go in with four dark and um, I don't really have a good attack leader except him. Um, are there any good attackers? I guess, I guess that's it. I would use a Mona, but my Monas don't have square slots, so it's, it's not going to work. Um, so I guess she's the best one. We're going to use... Uh, we're, we're just going to throw in three attackers. We're going to go like full offensive, and this is this is going to do uh, do a shit ton of damage. Oh man, the Seedlers even have a <laughs> bonus as well, so she, so uh, the Seedlers going to do a whole bunch of damage. Um, yeah, let's just, let's just go in and, and tear shit up. Now it's quite important that you get the Seedler to 100% crit because both his skills, like not only is he dark, but both his skills skill with crit. So he needs to crit to activate the skills. If he doesn't crit, then he's uh, he's quite weak. Now what I'm going to do is normally I would always kill the light unit because dark has elemental advantage against the light. But in this scenario, I might be able to do a lot of damage to the C star. So we're going to actually try to uh, try to do a little bit of combo damage with these two, and. Oh man, we just we just one shot that C star. Like I didn't even see how much damage that did, but that was uh, that that must have been a, quite a lot of damage. They are using a crit lead, not an HP lead. So um, now let's see if I can one shot this Sura. Ooh, that was that's a lot of damage. I mean, it only does two hits, which doesn't generate a lot of blue souls. But who needs blue soul generation where you're just like straight out. Straight out killing them, you know. <laughs> now the ele yeah, he's doing like twenty two k a hit. Like that, that is, that is not right. That is not okay. All right, that <laughs> that is not okay. <laughs> I I knew at the moment I saw this monster, I knew it was going to be game breaking. Like this is going to be insane. This is just, it's it's not going to be fair. Um, I think we're we're changing the meta into like a four dark attacker meta. 
That might actually be a thing. Let's see if we can uh, we can kill this Miho like really fast. Might be able to do with three units. Well, let's see how much damage I do with this. Ooh, that's like half his health. If I had two Dark Seedlers, I could just straight out kill her on turn one. And then if I had like third Dark Seedler and another attack lead, so like uh. Yeah, like I could just probably use Dark Vic. It would it would actually probably work out. I'm gonna try to stun the Light Vic because normally, um, you know, she has lower base resist. Should I kill this? I'll I'll kill the light one. Ooh, this is not not good. No, my Seedler's shocked. It's fine. We'll kill the Miho. We're, we'll try to stun the Light Valk because maybe she doesn't have a lot of resist. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to be a little bit uh, more aggressive here. All right, this is this is gonna be so OP. Like when I have three of three of these, I'm going to break the game. All right, I'm going to break PVP. Oh man, especially like against like Water Arthur teams. You know how he's like really annoying. He's somewhat tanky, but like it's hard to kill him on first turn. But if you have like three Dark Seedlers, just send all three at him and he's dead for sure. So like it, it basically like removes that threat. Um, yeah, this is this is gonna be sick. This is gonna be absolutely disgusting. Now that Astromon of the Month bonus seems pretty strong. All right, we're gonna send all three of these at the at the Arthur. Actually, let's see how much damage she does to the uh, to the Arthur. That's like that's like half health. All you need is two Seedlers, and he's dead. Like that is so broken. Oh man. Ooh, nice. We stunned her. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, you shocked the wrong guy. We're gonna we're gonna straight out see if we can uh, kill this Miho. Actually, no, the Katito won't do enough damage. If I had like two Dark Sealers, yeah, it definitely would would have killed her. All right, let's uh, let's take out this Light Thor just in case. This should definitely kill her. Yes, it does so much damage. Like it it is insane. What? Who who thought this was a good idea? Holy shit, like, she does so much damage, like, it's, it's so sick, like, it's just, it's so broken. <laughs> if you had, like, three, three of these, and then with another attack lead, like, that, that is just, it's, it's over. Like, especially, like, if you're fighting, like, an attacker team, there's no contest, because you're gonna, you're gonna one-shot anything on first turn. There's no, there's no defense against this. But then again, like, you could use a full light defense, so she, her elemental edge doesn't really matter. And then you have elemental advantage against her. So that might also be a counter. Like, I think full light defense is going to be much, much stronger in this, uh, in the upcoming meta. Because of how strong the Seedler is. Yeah, this is uh, this is so broken. This is not okay. This is very, very not okay. Well, we'll refresh list. Hopefully, there's still a lot of level sixties. Um. All right, we'll, we'll we'll try this. Like, if I had two dark Steelers, I would just. I would kill anything. Like those two, I just send those two at, at, at anything, and it would die. It would die in one turn because of the elemental edge. Like this is an HP lead. All right, this is an HP lead with a dark sea star, and it still does more than half of its like half of the 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 sea star's health. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is this is not okay. This is this is very very not okay. Yeah, I think this will kill the one the, the water purse. Who thought this was a good idea? Please tell me who's who's responsible for this. All right, that, that Leo was a little bit tankier. Nothing the Katitos can't handle. I knew it. I knew this monster was going to be game breaking. Oh man. All right, what do we got? All right, they ha they have a light attacker, but then I can just send the Gatitos at them, and then we'll try to kill the Miho. I think the best team would be like an attack lead, an attack lead attacker, and then just like run like three Dark Sealers. That would that would pretty much kill anything. Like, just look at this. All right, you're gone. And then we'll we'll uh we'll take care of this. Then we'll send these two at the Sea Star. Ooh, that's like half health. Like, if he had two, and it's not even on, like, a Valor or Ruin set. It's just on a Broken set. So if he had, a, like, on a Ruin set, it would pretty much, like... If he had, like, two, two of these on a Ruin set, you would pretty much kill anything. Like, even, like, a... Like, a max leader skill, um... Fire Odin, you would still one-shot it with two, two Dark Seedlers. If you had them both on, like, Ruin... I think it's definitely more important to get 100% crit on these monsters. I know you guys probably can't take me seriously because I'm a I'm a floating head in this video, but uh, you know, just uh, just just try to try to not not be too distracted. Man, this looks so funny. I'm a I'm a levitating seedler as well. Like this is this is just gonna kill this in one hit. <coughs> I need to see the, the person responsible for this. This madness. Ooh, so close. Wow, this this light vic actually hits pretty hard. I think the only counter is a full light defense, just to counter the elemental edge. To be like, it's still not useful. Let's go with a full like all five units need to be light. That kind of defense. Because if you have like three Dark Seedlers going in, there's, there's, there's like no counter with like the normal RGB Nat 5s. Even if you have like a, like a really high resist, you know, like Pugilist Arthur, like Water Arthur, like they, they, they don't give a fuck. <laughs> they will, they will, they will tear that shit apart. See how did I know that that person tried to cheese and put attack gem on the on the wood valk, thinking I wouldn't know. Man, it just does half health to aggressors. Like it's just, it's so so op. I haven't gotten the AOE off once because they just they just die too fast. Oh man, she survived. Um, their one weakness is they don't generate a lot of blue souls, but then again, you don't need blue souls when the enemy is actually just dead. Like, who who needs who needs blue souls when they're just when they're dead? When they just die. Like it's the it's the best defense. The a good offense is the best defense. Because a dead enemy can't do damage, can't do CC, can't do uh, can't do anything really. Um, 
What else can you use the sealers for? B10? B8? Well, anything can can do B8. Um, I guess B10 works as well. Use it as a wave clear monster. Oh, let's see if it can one shot the moonflowers. I think I think it might be able to. Especially with an attack lead. All right, let's 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 try this out. Let's let's do like a light Nike. Um, Dark Seedler. Run a Sapper like Water Mona, or not Mona, uh, Water Miho. And then run a, uh, do we need a passive aggressor? Or, pa or a passive healer? Um, probably not, we should just, just run another Sapper. Because I, I think, I don't think we need heals, we're going to be killing them so fast. It's not even about like getting your bar full and AoE down the wave, it's just like, I just one shot a guy on, on turn one. And that's, that's how I make my team stable. Like, maybe we just run, like, two Dark Sealers, and then this will be a stable team. Um, I'll, I'll have to raise my second one to test this out. So we'll go with, uh... What do we go with? We'll go with... I guess another Sapper should probably be the best. Is my Fire Purse gem? I can't remember if I ungemmed her. Oh, no, she still has gems. Alright, you could probably use, like, two Water Mihos. Or use another Dark Attacker. Um, this should definitely... I just want to see if it can one-shot the, the first wave. Like, if there's a Moonflower on wave 1, if it can just kill it in one go. Oh, wait, there's no there's no Moonflower. Alright, we'll see if there's a Moonflower on wave 2. Oh, crap, I can't kill the beast. So close, it's like... It's short a little bit of damage. If it had, if it, it was on Valor or Ruin, it would have killed the bee. I think that's what we, we need. We need a Valor or Ruin set. But then again, like, the other units are still doing a lot of damage. That I think for the majority of the run, it's going to be fine. The bees are, I think, slightly tankier than the Moonflower. So they actually, she can survive. But if you had um, the Seedler on, like, a Ruin set... Or a Valor set, it could definitely, uh, it can definitely kill the, the bees in one go. Yeah, I think we're just short a tiny bit of damage. Well, actually, sometimes it can kill it. Damage isn't always static. Sometimes it just, it does slightly more. Like, it's, it does, like, um, a set amount to a set amount. So let's see if we can kill the Moonflower again. Alright, does, it does kill the Moonflower. Okay, this this monster is good for B10. I can I can say like I can safely say this is this monster is very good for B10. Um, you know, like not not like super super top tier, like not not like Radis OP, but you could very easily like run two Dark Sealers, run a Water Miho, and then run like a Light Vic, and your your runs will be very very stable because your Sealer is just gonna just gonna one shot whoever's on the first wave. Th then again, you also need like pretty good gems because it does need to have 100% crit so the the, the requirement um, the gem requirement for this monster is actually relatively high because it, it does require the uh, the 100% crit maybe one is enough you, you maybe you don't need two. Oh wait no no you can you can use two you want to know why because it has a 100% armor break on on its AoE so if you had two spamming that you could very very easily land that and then at, on the turn after, um, you're going to be doing a lot of damage because the boss is going to be armor broken, right? So, you know, that's that's definitely something to consider. Yeah, all in all, this monster is extremely OP. Like, it's just it's just so strong. There's there's not much to say. It's just, it's, it's, it, he's, is it a he or a she? I think it's an it. I remember an Astro God, it just like it would not mention a gender, it's just an it. Alright, it's an it. It's just OP. I had someone call me out, they're like for for like calling the seedler a he. But it doesn't even say in the Astro God that it's a she. It just says it. Or they or something. Like just some uh some some gender neutral stuff. See, this team might actually be a little bit harder because they're all light. So, like, the, the bonus of the Seedler is not really going to be um, all that effective against them. 
but it still does so much damage because of the skill books as well so you know that's that's also something to consider I think the best counter because I think it's gonna be sealer meta like the next month because everybody's gonna be running a whole bunch of these um, the counter to to your defense should be like a full light defense it's probably the easiest way to counter them I'm gonna get rid of the shock because I don't have a lot of resist um, see if we can sh stun this if we can stun this I'm gonna actually try to kill the cure really fast all right it's a birdie um, I guess I'll put some damage on the on on the light valk so I can kill her next turn mm, this is uh it's not good I want to kill this wonder I think two of them can can probably kill the valk I think because of the skill books, it actually does more damage than the uh, Gatito on, on their first skill. Because of the skill books. You know, maybe you don't even need attack lead. Just run four Dark Seethers and it might be strong enough to just kill anything. <laughs> I, like, I, I think that might actually be better. You just run four Dark Seethers. I mean, it has resist lead, so resist lead is not too bad either. Like this, I'm just gonna kill the Wood Valk in like turn one. If, especially if I have like two Dark Sealers, it's just gonna die in one turn. Like all the all the teams with like Water Arthur, Wood Nightmare, on Pugilist, um, Wood Valk, it's they're 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 fucked. Like after everyone has like three of these, they're all those teams are fucked. Ooh, this this one's full tank. All right, we're we're gonna we're, we're actually just gonna kill her straight out. Ooh, shit, it's a spark it. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Alright, maybe I can stun it. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to put a lot of damage on this purse so it can't heal up. I think next turn I should be able to kill it. Alright, I think this will kill the spark it. And then, um... Actually, we need to kill... Oh, wait, 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 no. The, this thing has... She has her active up. We need to take care of her. See, this team was kind of hard because of the Odin. So I think, I think like Light Odin, Light Shiva, those those type of monsters are going to be very, very. Um, well, actually, maybe not because they don't have a very threatening first skill. Actually, no. Shiva can, Shiva can survive quite a long time against uh, probably against the Seedler as well because Elemental Edge is not um, is not usable against Light. So it's like, it's it's like it doesn't have a first skill passive, but because of the skill books, it does so much damage. Hmm, interesting. Didn't land. Sad. I'm gonna try to get better gems. Put it on ruin, or uh, or valor. It's gonna do like way more damage. Like these type of comps, the the sealers will just shred 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 the living shit out of them. Um, I'm out of tickets, so I guess that's the end of the video. But anyways, that is that is not okay. That is like this this monster is not okay. It's it's not <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> All right, this is very wrong. Um. But anyways, that's pretty much it. That's 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 it for my uh, floating head sealer video. I'm gonna try to raise a second one. Actually, I'm probably gonna spend some time um, getting some better gems, and then I'll raise a second one because I do want to put it on a ruin or valor. Um, I don't know what you what leader skill is like the best. Maybe an attack lead, possibly an HP lead could work. It might be better in a higher tier but i think the best defense is actually just to kill something in turn one like kill whatever is threatening on turn one and you you win so i don't i don't think you really need to have like a defensive leader skill it might be better to use like an attack lead or a or a crit damage lead um i wonder if there's if there's any good crit damage dark monsters hmm, verde is not that good Yeah, she's not she's not too good either. Uh, all right, this is a courageous striker. Oh shit! Dark Lat, wait, is Dark Lat gonna be better than uh than Dark Mona? I mean, they both have the I, I would 
probably prefer the Dark Mona, but then again, the Lat also has skill books. So the Lat technically does more damage than the Mona on, on its first skill. Um, and I think the Marobus doesn't really matter because you're trying to kill people on turn one. I think that actually might be the strongest team. You get a fully skill book Dark Lat, and then you just run like three, uh, three Seedlers, and that'll probably... That'll be pretty insane. Uh, I would have, I would have preferred to use a crit damage lead actually, because I'm running double attack. I don't think there's any good crit damage leaders that are obtainable. Hmm. Yeah, there's. Oh wait, I have a dark yaksha, but her attack's quite low. It's not gonna work. Uh. And there's no, there's no, there's no crit damage lead. There's no good crit damage lead. I think Lat might really be the best. I do have a, I, I do have a dark Lat saved up. I never decided to raise him, but now, uh, now it might be time. I'll raise the one with the best slots, and we'll we'll have like a Lat three dark Seether team. I'm gonna fully skill it up as well. Um, I think this one has the best slot, but then again, I I'm mis I don't have a lot of good diamond gems. Um, but then again, this one also needs a diamond. Uh, if it was like a triple square or a double square triangle, it would have been it would have been much better. Um, what about dark cold? No, dark cold's not as good as dark lat. Dark lat's definitely better. We're gonna use like dark lat, and then we're gonna we do some crazy shit. We're gonna skill it up. It's gonna do so much damage. It's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. It's gonna it's gonna hit so so damn hard. Um, I'm gonna try to get a variant lat with a good leader skill and uh, see if we can see if we can do something. I think I already fed like a variant one into all of them, so they're they're all gonna turn into variants. But I don't remember which one has the best variant skill. But I think that that actually might be the meta. You just go like lat three. Three sealers. Um, the, the lat was a previous rebirth, so I think lat's better than Mona because um, even though it has lower attack, it has the skill books. So if you add the skill book damage onto its attack on first skill, it actually does more damage than Mona's, and that's what you want. You want to kill stuff like fast on first turn. So I think that might be the most OP combo. I'm gonna I'm gonna start raising it, and we're gonna see if it can. Uh, we can do some uh, do some crazy crazy damage, but anyways, that is pretty much it. Um, that's all I wanted to show you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you don't have a Stark Seedler yet, I highly recommend you like throw everything into Rebirth to try to get one. Now the Seedlers, um, I mentioned this tip before. The Seedlers are farmable monsters that you can get in Mirage Ruins. Therefore, it's you don't have to save the Seedlers or even feed them into your Seedlers to make it Evil 3. You should, um, instead of like, when you get a Dark Seedler, instead of raising it right away, I would recommend you to actually not raise it and uh, just continue farming and until you, until you, uh, until the end of the month and actually just keep feeding these Seedlers back into the Rebirth pool and try to get more rolls and see if you can get another um, Dark Seedler. Ideally, you want to get like three by the end of the month so hopefully hopefully that works out for you guys but i already have two and it's already it's only like the beginning of the month so i'm going to try really really hard to try to get a third one um possibly a fourth one so maybe i can try to run like a four dark c team. that might also work as well or try to get one with better slots but that's pretty much it that's it for my uh floating head seedler video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out